What's up everybody? Welcome back to ABC Acres. This is Justin and we've got chores we need to get done. I just got home from work and I got to get these done kind of in a hurry. Um, I'm headed down to church camp. Uh, one of our last videos, I think I mentioned it a little bit. Uh, it's called Camp Hope here locally. Our church uh, runs it and Lee and the kids are already there. We spent the night there last night. I went to work this morning and I swung by the house after work so I could get some chores done and make sure everybody's topped off on food and water. And then I'm heading down to camp and we're gonna spend the rest of the week down there and hanging out, working at camp. We got uh, over a hundred middle schoolers there this week. So it's gonna be fun probably be really tired but uh, it's always a good time so we gotta get these chores knocked out and get headed down the road let's go What's going on, chickens? How's everybody doing? It's hot out there, I know that. Let's go ahead and top off this water while we're here. New cups, still A plus so far. Haven't noticed anything leaking. And everybody seems to really like them. How's your food doing? Let's check the feeders. Oh yeah, you guys are good on that one. And you're in good shape on that one. It's not focusing, but it's still got just a little less than half left in it. Both of them are good. Only thing is sometimes it gets jammed up in there and you gotta kind of poke it and get it out that usually only happens with the pellet feed most of the time we feed this crumble feed and we don't have any issues with that that's all for those chickens food and water all they need and clean bedding but they're still in good shape on that. So next, we need to take care of all the goats in both goat fields. But before we do that, I got something in the garage I wanna show you guys real quick. I've been meaning to do this and just haven't taken the time. So while we're here getting feed, let's go ahead and I'll show you real quick. This is our fresh freezer beef. Now it doesn't look like a lot. It's just a quarter of a beef, but it's planning to do us for a while. We got all this in ground hamburger. And we got some steaks. Here's beef eye. We got some roast in here, uh, beef pop round steak, and some more roast in there. Can't tell what those are. Several different kinds of roast. More steaks. Now we're getting into good stuff. T-bones. Oh, that's it right there. That's the money. Ribeye. Sirloins, sirloins, little blades, um, sirloins, more sirloins. There's more back in here too, some T-bones. So we are very 
thankful to have some fresh, high quality beef in our freezer. There's no need to go through and show you every piece of meat in the freezer. You've all seen beef before, but I just wanted to say we are, again, very thankful to have this beef. Um, this beef was raised by Lee's family, and uh, this particular steer was actually shown by Lee's cousin, Jude, and won the steer shows here in our area. So he was, uh, he was a really good steer, and we have had, we've had some burgers and a roast, and I had a ribeye steak, and they were all excellent. So um, that's what I wanted to show you. Fresh beef in the freezer. Now let's go take care of these goats. Come on, boys. Let's go get your feed. Way down here. Come on. You're going to have to get out of the way. There you go. All right, girl. We're gonna be gone for a few days. So, you're in charge. You take care of everybody, okay? Make sure everybody's good. You take it easy. We'll be back in a couple days. Now let's get these girls fed. You've probably been able to hear them in the background through most of this video. They've been yelling. We're coming, we're coming. Let's go. I don't know. Hey, Poppy. You guys want some feed? All right, let's go. Everybody over the bridge. Come on. Let's go. Hey, Maple. Come on. Everybody go. Go on. There you go. Let's get the pans out. Clover, you're gonna let all the chickens eat all your feed. I really don't mean for you guys to eat all of this. Poppy's gonna hog one all to herself because you've turned into one of the bullies of the bunch. Pretty rare that Maple gets a pan to herself for a minute. S'mores always goes to check the bucket, make sure there's nothing left. She'll miss out on the whole feeding just to try to get any that she think might be in the bucket.
I never thought about it or knew it when I put it here, but this brush right here, the goats use to scratch on, also doubles as a great tripod that I can set my little flexible small tripod up on top of it. Keep these crazy goats from knocking it over everywhere. Isn't that right? You're the one that likes to knock everything over, aren't you? Everybody was checking on you after that last video, girl. Everybody was checking to make sure and saying they were glad you're okay. One thing I did leave out in that video is by coincidence or whatever, ever since that happened, she went from towards the top of the pecking order to bottom. I don't know why, if she just got really timid and scared after that and lost her position in the herd or what, but she is, she is way down the order these days. So she gets plenty of extra attention around here, don't you girl? And yet look who's not far behind. Oh, Poppy, always got to be right there in the middle, don't you? You like those head scratches between the horns. Oh, yeah. It is hot out here. And Clover does not like it. It's been really hot here this week. We've been all over 90 degrees all week. So... I always say we always keep plenty of fresh cold water you like that cold water that fresh cold water cinnamon I know you do I'm trying to sneak in the back of the shot here cinnamon is the goat in charge around here she is the herd queen which if you don't know is an actual thing she's the she's the leader and she keeps everybody straight and it's pretty obvious if you pay attention i may not have got much of that stuff on video i usually don't put them fighting and headbutting i don't call it fighting but headbutting and stuff on video but she's definitely she's definitely in charge around here i think that's all we got for today's video I uh, don't have a lot of time I'm getting ready to hit the road. I've got to pack my stuff in the truck. And uh, so just wanted to bring you guys along some quick evening chores and show you our freshly stocked freezer of beef. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, ring the notification bell, all those cool things. And you can follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, at ABC Acres. You got anything you want to say? That's it. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. God bless.